For this project, you will need six pieces of paper, a marker or pen, a pencil, something to color with like crayons or colored pencils, and some tape or a stapler. On six different pieces of paper, you are going to draw lines going across each paper. Wavy lines, zigzag lines, straight line, square line. It's kind of like a Minecraft one, isn't it? Um, could do a wiggly line. So do six different papers, I'm halfway through, with different lines. As you make your lines, get creative and explore all the different things you can do by simply drawing a line. And if you get stuck, you can always go back to basics. Now it's time to add color. Fill in each space between your different lines with different colors and patterns if you like. I really like how you can blend colors when you use crayons or colored pencils. So I wanted to show you an easy technique for um, using three colors to create almost an ombre effect. This will work with crayons or colored pencils, not so much with markers. So you want to pick three colors, one that's dark, one that's light, and then one kind of in the middle. Um, I picked these three because they it ends up looking like fire and I think it looks really great. So with your dark color, you'll begin on, you're going to pick a strip and start to color it in. It works best if you make kind of down or diagonal marks instead of going across like that. And fill the page in, or sorry, fill your strip in about halfway with your dark color. And you wanna go a little bit harder at the top. So press a little harder at the top so your color will look more vibrant or darker. Now, with your light color, you will go at the bottom and go almost to the top of your, or almost touching, not to the top, but almost touching your dark color. And again, press harder at the bottom and then lighten up as you get closer to that dark color. And notice I'm using those same diagonal marks with my crayon. Now you're going to take your middle color and you guessed it, color in the middle, overlapping or going into both the dark color and the light color. And you'll have to experiment with how hard you press to get that blended effect. You might have to press a little bit harder when you're going in the dark color 
and then lighten up a little bit as you go into the light color. Okay, so there you go. Super easy way to blend colors. Give it a try. Here I'm trying it again using blue and yellow and green. Another easy blending trick is to pick two very different colors. So I picked gray and red. And with one color, probably the lighter of the two colors, you want to go that way. Color it in, but not hitting all your edges. Just kind of roughly coloring it in quickly. Dokie. Now take your other color, probably your brighter color or your darker color. I've been using this red crayon a lot, so I have to peel some of the paper away. And you go and you fill in kind of around the edges that you didn't hit with that first color. I'm going to turn my paper because it's kind of hard for my arm to work at the very bottom of my table like that. Always turn your paper or change your position. It's hard to make artwork if your body's uncomfortable. So if you are drawing or painting or coloring, try and make sure that your arm and your hand are comfortable. It'll be nicer for you and you won't get as tired as quickly. So super easy technique there. Two very different colors. And I think that is a really cool way to make it look almost like something's moving in front of something like clouds or smoke. So um, see all the different color combinations you can try with that. You can also apply a really simple pattern to one or more of your drawings. So on these two pages, I picked three colors, super simple. Actually, I guess I picked four because I thought these two blues were the same, but they ended up being different. But quite simply, I did blue, red, blue, red, green, red, green, red. You get the point, right? So that's a really easy way. And when you put them together, they look quite great to also fill in your papers. Okay, so you have your six papers colored in. I only have four here because I've already started the next step of the project. This is the end of part one. The fan you see here is a sneak preview for what we will do in part two next week.